There we go. All right, and spelunks. Played the music really loud. It was beautiful. All right, time to switch over to Spelunky. What was the cheers? The cheers, guys. What was like that? It's like when you go. That was like right, actually. Oh, we love you, Mayor Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> It would be actually really. Co I've always thought it would be really cool if, like, maybe there, maybe. Oh, dude! Maybe you could do like a sound cue that plays overlapping, like applause sound effects or something. Mm -hmm. If ever if someone types in some. Oh, dude! Ooh, you're starting to you're starting idea. to come up with a Wait, really what? really good idea. Okay, what? so let imagine, imagine. So you know how like Better Twitch TV catches like a like a, a line that someone says. So like, what if they say, what if they type in applause or something, and then it plays an audio file on your computer of someone going like this. And if there's like a bunch of people doing it, then all of a sudden it becomes applause of multiple people. And Ew. now you have a laugh track that is a real laugh track <laughs> and a real applause track. On no, your, because what's uh, gonna uh, happen things. is you're gonna turn this into like uh, Moonbase Alpha. And like John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden. Uh... <laughs> and it's gonna That's be awful point. for everybody involved. We're gonna have like an applause meter that never stops throughout the entirety of the live stream. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there there is also keep in mind the thirty second delay, so that'll be another issue. True that. <laughs> yeah. Come upon. I have to so. apologize to everybody. I uh, I messed up my texture pack, so I've temporarily lost my bear taffy skin. But oh I'll have it back very God. shortly. Oh, I know. I'm bear. the worst. I am Just literally the scum. worst human being that has ever existed on this Pure beautiful and green earth. Utter scum. Mm -hmm. But I got Eddie. Eddie. Is anyone still uh, trying to contest the name of the sloth, or have I have I dominated the? Uh, it's salami. The landscape there. It's, it's salami. Yeah, salami is the name of the sloth. That no, that's not actually true though. The, I like Hubert. True. Twitch chat, tell him. Twitch chat's with me, man. I don't know. The entirety of it. Uh, over in Twitch plays Pokemon. You ask him like, hey, man. No, it's it's salami. Go is ahead, it Eddie? Tell, him. tell him, Bear Chat. Tell tell me, Bear yeah, Chat. Hey, Spasm Finger says pile. you should use the alpaca skin. He's right, you should. I probably ought to not do that if I'm being totally oh, honest. Oh wow, Shots you fired. are you are much louder than Rob and Josh. Why is that? That's true, yeah. Um, we're soft. We're I soft don't and know about that. It's Sid. It's salami. It's Robert. Eddie R. That's, R, R, that's R, 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 R. There you go. Uh, I don't think I'm that much louder, am I? I, not to me. You sound good to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah you sound pretty, pretty all right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna roughly, go with roughly, with Josh. Yeah. You know, yeah. Same level. With salami. With uh, oh, so your name is Salami. That's what you're trying to tell me. No, your name is Salami. No. J Smith stands for Josh Salami Man. I touch him. I don't think that's true. It might be. I, don't, I don't think that's true. Hmm. You know, I think you're both wrong here. If I can just say that. Can you can you weigh in on this and let us know really what the correct answer is? Hmm. Uh, the the trueness of it is that the dear God only knows the answer to this uh, question, and all should praise him. Pretty much. That's fair. If uh, I were to praise an animal, it'd probably be a deer. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, so you're a mysterious and elegant. Yeah, that's true. I gotta that's, eat them later. That's, that's a good point, yeah. Lock bets. Did you guys They're bet? They're a sacred beast. Uh, no, I didn't bet. You guys go I all don't have enough spelunky dollars. Oh man. I have no spelunkies. I'm out of spelunkies. That's what they're called. I don't know if you knew that. It's like the Looney. Yeah. And the Toonie. I believe yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever play the uh, the Looney Tune MMO when you were like 12 years old? No. The what? Oh, that, that exists? Yeah. I yeah. Looney, I th Looney Tune MMO? Yeah. No, 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 no Dude, an MMO. I had a Tiny Toons game on the Super Nintendo. Uh huh. That was a fun game. I like that. There was like it was like Toon Town or something. Toon Town. Yeah. If you Google no, Toon Town, you might still find something. When I was, no. I don't know if I was twelve. I don't know. I just I use twelve when I'm talking about something that happened like ten years ago, and I don't actually know how long ago it was. So you, you were actually shot. twelve Two? ten years ago. Yeah. I was, uh, <laughs> it's close. I was, um... Now I'm very confused as to your age. Like, I've, I've gotten more and more confused as you've been explaining this recently. Do you know how old I am, Rob? I don't think I do, no. Well, especially not now. Okay. I, mean, I, I thought I was, I thought I was close to knowing, and then now I, I, it's, it's all gone. Oh, it says I'm playing My the Yacht confidence. Woods. 
Uh, I'm curious enough for you to take a guess. Uh, 23 or 4? Okay. Okay. How, how close am I? No, I'm not going to tell you. He's not oh, gonna, okay. Obviously, he's I'm not going to tell you. He's not I see. Gonna. All right. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Toontown is Disney, Looney Tunes, slash Tiny Tunes is Warner Brothers. That's, you know, there you go. Black okay. Knight, four, six, seven. So I was totally mistaken in what it was, but there was... It was like an MMO or something. It was like a... It was this big deal, and I remember it... There being commercials for it all the time. It was like, go ask your parents for permission to play with the cartoons online and join your friends and it's a whole bunch of fun, yay! Oh, I vaguely do remember that, actually. Uh-huh. I, I vaguely... I never played it, though. Um, by the way, uh, Saint Nowhere makes a really good point. Rob doesn't know how old he is. How would he know how old Bear is? <laughs> so, it's a very excellent point. I very often forget my own age. So. It's true. I've seen his streams, and he mm -hmm. just yeah. doesn't fucking. Care. I don't remember. I <laughs> actually, right now, if you pressed me to answer, there would be two possibilities, and I would. It's I always would give, am I twenty two? Am I twenty three? Am I? I'm either twenty two or twenty three. I don't really don't know. I, I do. I have like a brain disease, or am I just a regular <laughs> dude? I don't know. My name's. I don't, right. Hello, disease. Woody. Woody. I don't. Uh, I don't pay a lot of attention to uh, to like birthdays and stuff. And yeah, just... who cares? It's not like you're born on that day. Then after you turn 21, <laughs> there's not really a significant age past that point, so you kind of just don't <laughs> care anymore. You're right. Probably... Exactly. Yeah. Like what's what's you past you know, 21? Man. Yeah. See, right? It's not. It's, yeah, it's I easy. Just like, to... I like. Yeah, I like. You know, giving you a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, easy, it's easy to forget. Yeah. Spyro. Spyro's got me on lock. Yeah. She. I'm 22. Right. But as many times as she's told me how old I am, I still forget. Hello, dead person. No. A dead person, not the dead person. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I mean, come on now, Bear. This difference between definite and indefinite articles is very important to you. Is there, though? Mm, the, is there a difference between the indefinite and definite articles? In, Aren't like, we language? all indefinite articles? I'm That's definite. I'm definitely. You're definitely an indefinite article. Yep. Yep. Definitely Dennis the article. Definitely Dennis the Menace. Mm -hmm. I'm actually Is 24 it? now. I recently turned 24. Ah, see? Mm -hmm. So you were I, close. I knew it. You were you were half halfway there. Whoa! You're halfway there. Whoa! Whoa. Rob forgot Did his know. age. Yeah. <laughs> or actually, Did guess the age of. His age. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, I rhyme though. I could have said, uh, "Guess the age of bear." That would have been so oh, much better. Yeah. Guess. Normally I'm okay at coming up with rhyming schemes on the fly. Guess the age of bear? How does that rhyme? We're halfway there, guess the age of bear. Oh, I was just saying. Yeah. I, th I thought you were trying to rhyme age with bear or guess or something. I was like, what the hell? That's just... <laughs> <laughs> now we've gotten very far away from the original rhyme. Mm. That, is, that is true. Yeah, a lot of people that are older than me. People are very I'm surprised like... to find out that I'm 24, even though I feel it's kind of a... An appropriate age for someone such as myself. Well, I see. Now, if you want to know my reasoning as to why I guessed 24, is you're married. Yes. So that you know uh, the, that uh, it it has it's not been unknown to happen mm -hmm. uh, at a younger age, but I mean that's more or less around a uh, pretty pretty you know natural age for sure. such a thing. Not not particularly younger. Mm -hmm. So you know. Um, I wonder, should I play Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne while you play Spelunky Bear? I'm I just uh, dodged a bullet like Neo from The Matrix, the one. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend doing anything you want while you just hang out here and talk with me while you oh, play some Spelunky, okay. man. That's pretty good. Wait, what did, what did you say, Josh? I'm playing 10 Second Ninja. That's a good oh, game to play. Loser. Dan still hasn't sent it to me, though. Really? Wow. Oh, yeah. What a you get on told me earlier. No, I totally was on Skype. I was like, Dan! Uh, this in the UK, he's probably missed you by a little bit. That's yeah, true. that's a good point. Yeah, he's probably asleep. He's yeah, send him, a, send him a Twitter message. I'll get you one right over. Yeah. I like Whenever I, I see Game Design Dan, I always think for some reason of calling him Dan Nerd Cubed, but he's not, obviously. No, he's, he's the Game Design Dan. He's just Game Design Dan, yeah. It's I like, don't know if either of them know who the other one is, to be honest. I Dan sure Dan do. Cubed. Yeah. Nah. I mean, Nerd Cubed is like a pretty famous dude, right? Who? Oh, yeah, he's pretty famous. Uh, Nerd Cubed? Oh, yeah, he's got like 3 million subscribers. Yeah, he's got like 10 million subscribers. 
Yeah. He's got like about 50 million subscribers. He's got like 69 yeah. subscribers. He's that, so that's wild. probably got... closer, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, you're probably right, yeah. Oh, God! Whoa! Oh, uh, man, sorry. Everything's fine. Woody, Woody, I did already grind my Pokemon earlier, so oh, I don't actually need to do I that. I do it as much as I thought I could. I got killed. Oh, no! I ended with $69,000. <gasps> oh, my God! That's good. Wait, how did you die here? That is pretty good. Yeah, I, uh... That I sucks. couldn't dodge bullets as much as I thought I could. You can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a ball. Bear's voice is that of a legendary Latino lover bred with smooth jazz and was blessed by Morgan Freeman. Ian, he's not wrong. I, I'd like to think that that wasn't a chat comment and you just said that spontaneously. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I like to imagine in my head. <laughs> uh, I gotta pay out to the shopkeeper. I gotta congratulate everybody who made $14. Uh, actually, NJA just made 1855, but we got a bunch of people that oh. made 88, so... Uh -huh. Well done to you lot. Let's start another round hey. here. Oh, Austin's here. Hey, and so is Zen. Hey, Zen. Hey, Austin is Zen's... here! You should oh. bring Austin in the call if he wants to join us. Oh. Austin. Austin does rhyme with Boston. Austin the Boston. Austin what if you could only be born in a city that names rhymes with your name? <laughs> I don't think there are any cities that rhyme with Robert. I just and found a jetpack in my first crate in this in this seed. Uh, I don't know uh, if that's ever happened to me. Oh god! You I'm got a what in the crate? I got a jetpack in the first crate. Wow, hey, that's good. That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to not die. You are crazy. I am. You're insane. I'm a lunatic. You're like a crazy person. I'd be born in like, it'd be like Seattle, but with an X at the end, so like, Seattle. See, see I, I was born in Cialis. Cialis! <laughs> Probably born because of it. Oh, yeah. It's the fresh maker. <laughs> Is that what they call it? Yeah. Yeah, Cialis, the fresh maker. Cialis, the fresh maker. I don't know if you, didn't, if you knew that, yeah. It's, it's the flesh maker, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's even better. <laughs> yeah. It makes some pretty good better. flesh. I, uh, I joined. It makes good flesh. Yeah. I joined the you joined, it's the Austin! Word, first word I heard was Cialis, so we're going to have a great time. <laughs> we're going to have a ball, <laughs> man. It's even better words before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Guys hey, bear, 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 go to hell. It, it's my mission to to get you to to do at least one run blindfolded. It's oh gotta God, happen. I do need to do that. I could probably set up a camera, but I don't know if I have a, a blindfold or proper. I just <laughs> I just turn my TV off. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that works out. I don't want to do it blindfold and not have a blindfold, man. That doesn't, that doesn't even yeah, make sense. Yeah, it is pretty cool to wear a blindfold. Mm -hmm. You know, mm, that's true. Oh, I do. You know, one thing I hate is that you have to activate the sloth damsel every time. Yeah, it does get kind of annoying, but it makes it even more worthwhile when you when you do it. That's true. Why are you? Uh, you're not sacrificing the uh, the sloth man. <laughs> oh, I Did you just say you use words with that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I do sometimes, not all the time though. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to spelunky bet, but the site doesn't work for me. Uh, Ram, if you try refreshing it, that usually does the trick, but sometimes it does does just struggle. Hey, chat, I have a question for you. Yes? Uh, if I'm playing Warcraft 3 while also watching Bear, do I play single-player campaign, or do I play Dota 1? Rob, don't just get my Twitch chat to solve all your <laughs> meaningless I issues. Have yes, existential I, have a huge, I, have, I am extremely indecisive. I need hundreds of people to tell me what to do. It's a necessity. To so, exactly. so Twitch chat, should I have macaroni and cheese for dinner or something else? No, that's a I tweet, dude. That's that just a tweet. Twitter, yeah. <laughs> Joke's on you. I actually have macaroni and the cheese in the microwave. I'll be right back. These macaroni, are macaroni and, and the cheese. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like a Saturday morning children's cartoon show. It's macaroni and the cheese! In the, it's, it's like, and the cheese, but it's also in the cheese. Which isn't wrong, if you're, you know, being completely honest. People are saying both and uh -huh. Dota 1. People are saying do both in the chat as to what I should play. And uh, that would be a great deal of multitasking. It would be. We'll play Dota 1 and single player campaign. At the same time, right? Hello, yeah. Katie the Kraken. I like that name. Okay, now they're saying macaroni and cheese. I don't know if I could play macaroni <laughs> and cheese, to be honest. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. 
Josh, Dude, your new uh, your new Skype profile picture is pretty badass. I'm not gonna tell you that before. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? And I agree. As hell. It's that's the one with the American sunglasses, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's good. Peter, are aviators American sunglasses? Mm -mm. No, look at look at the no, look at the lenses. Oh wait a second, have I missed a a, a oh my god, I did <laughs> miss the ripple. Oh good, I was gonna I was gonna I, I like I honestly was gonna mention it earlier when when you called me, uh, and I didn't even realize that it had American flags in the sunglasses. Yes, my my lenses have American flags in them. That is impressive. It's yeah. really incredible. Dude, it was like it was like twelve dollars for a three pack on Amazon. That's locked. It's amazing. Hold on, that's, I'm going. That's, to... I said too, Bear, when I heard of it. I said. Oh bets yeah, I would have done the exact bets same thing. Are locked. Bets are <laughs> locked. Get your bets in. Normally, when I find a great deal when I'm like grocery shopping or something, I'll just walk up to it. I'll I'll take it. I'll throw it on the ground and I'll just scream, "Bets locked!" And everyone just. <laughs> that's the way to do it. They yeah. applaud actually every time I do it, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a really yeah. great. I would imagine. Situation I've become, got. Become a there. local folk hero, really. <laughs> <laughs> I can bet some good deals. How did that TNT not explode? Oh, I don't know, man. It did It did the next time, for sure. Oh. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do in this run. I don't think I have an eggplant opportunity here. I was really hoping for one. Mm. Oh. I'm just going to grab all these gems, even though the ghost will show up in a minute. Is the eggplant still a source of contention now that it's been completed? It's um, a monumental accomplishment. Yeah, I, think. I mean, like it, its value has not been diminished. If that's your question, it's still yeah, a that's true. difficult thing to do. Yeah, it I, is. I tried it once. I think I got like one level, and and I can't remember how I lost the eggplant, but it was pretty silly. <laughs> so I never yeah. tried it again. <laughs> got it through one level. I was running not. out of the door with the uh, the gift box, mm -hmm. hoping that it works out for the best. There was <laughs> this that. Is I, I did enjoy you uh, that one throw that you had, Bear, where you had the eggplant and an arrow like bounced off of like seven surfaces to hit it in the corner. Oh god, so oh. good. It was, it was so brutal. Ghost Yama Bear, yeah, we could try that out. Yeah, Ghost Yama Bear. Ghost Yama Bear. It's like uh, it's like ghosting Mama Bear. I was recording a uh, Bear Snap Daily Challenge, and it, it occurred to me as I was doing it, and I won't spoil why, but I can't come up with. Um, Nine famous bears. Berenstein. <laughs> Berenstein uh, bears. That would have been a good one to do. Uh, bear taffy. Uh, the bears that have constellations after them. Oh yeah, the, the uh, Ursa Ursa Maybe yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Chicago bears. I oh, the Chicago bears. Ursa. What about the Chicago Cubs? The Cu uh, well, yeah, the Cubs uh, could work too, I suppose. Yeah. The and also the Chicago Fozzy. Bo I don't know of another Chicago. Oh, Fozzie Bear. Man, that was a really good one as well. You know, I'm just now realizing that the Chicago Ch the Chicago Cubs and the Chicago Bears are very, very similar team names, and they kind of just make the Cubs seem really inferior, which is appropriate. Yeah, it yeah, really like is Cubs. very appropriate. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they haven't the... won anything in, like, what, like a hundred something years or something I think it literally like has that? been more than a hundred years, yeah. Yeah, it's been over a century that they've won anything, so, mm -hmm. yes. Well, something, it's just a bad luck streak, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. It's yeah, like a really, like really bad pretty long bad luck, luck streak. streak. It happens yeah. to the best of us. Why can't you guys just accept that? <laughs> just a bad luck streak of multiple generations of people. It yeah. sounds like Josh is combating a personal problem having to do with centuries of bad luck in the, uh, in the Smith household. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Don't... Talk to me. All right, man. Sandwich. Wait, no, but, but seriously, I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> they, probably, they probably suck. They're, uh, I don't, I don't want to be, like, ripping on the Cubs, you know, because oh. there are some pretty devote Cubs fans out there, and I know that for sure. <laughs> for what uh, reason? So <laughs> yeah. yeah, really, seriously. Flip-flop that around, man. <laughs> you're like, yeah, they're one yeah, line yeah, of really, defense yeah. in this in this call, and all of a sudden he just leaves defender of the Cubs. All of a sudden. <laughs> There's the, uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, Bear Grylls. How did I not come up with Bear Grylls? I got Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear was like the first one I got. But, uh, Dude, we yeah. almost got like nine here right now. We got three sports teams, Bear yeah. Grylls. Yeah. It's four. That's not nine. Actually. Yeah, that's that's uh, I less than it. half of yeah, nine. That's, that's, uh, you're bad at counting. That's though. wishful There's thinking, nothing. man. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. Nine! The Bear Naked Ladies. Ooh. Oh, there oh, you go. That would have been a good one. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, Bear Granola. Bear granola. I don't know that one. <laughs> You've never heard that? No, man. Really? Never heard of that. There's like a, a very like like I love large. Like, I forgot guys here. Got it. Bear <laughs> granola. 
<laughs> I'm okay. I'm fucking looking this up because it's I so swear to God. You get a reaction it's, like, oh, of course, a, Bear Granola, <laughs> like everyone knows this about. Very, this, is a, this is a large ad campaign. Yeah, look at this. Right, Bear Granola. I'm, I'm gonna divert from Rob for a second here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna loop back to Yogi Bear because maybe you can count Yogi Bear as well. Oh, we did count Yogi Bear, actually. Oh, Yogi Bear. Paddington, uh, Bear. Uh, Paddington Bear. What is Paddington Bear? Smokey the Bear. Oh, Smokey the Bear, yeah. Only you can prevent Bear Granola. Mm -hmm. We need the Pooh Bear. Oh, we need the Pooh Bear. We need one. Pooh. Need pooh. I am not stealing all these from the chat, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what about like Teddy uh, Ruck? He was a bear. Oh the my god, Little Bear. Menstruation. Little, little Bear, bear. The, little the Nickelodeon bear. show, little the Nick bear, Jr. Right. show. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I remember watching that show when I was too old to be watching that show, and there was yeah, a particular it, line on there. Good. It's still good, yeah, but like I was that watching was it, and something happened, and they were like having a tea party or something. They were going around asking the various members of the party how many lumps of sugar they'd like to have in their tea, and the monster-looking kid says, I would like 11 lumps of sugar. <laughs> and then he hesitates for a second, and then he says, please. I remember hearing that and just laughing so hard. Because <laughs> it was like the funniest thing I'd ever seen on Little Bear in my life. That was it. I just remember the, there was an episode where they were brushing their teeth and they were talking about how you should not use too much toothpaste. That was all, the only experience I remember. That was a, that was a warning issued by the Little Bear show? Yeah. You use too much toothpaste. <laughs> Careful, kids. What about Bear in the Big Blue House? Oh, oh man, Bear in the Big Blue House, yeah. That I, I don't, I've never summer. seen that show, but god damn it, they have the best, like, ending song in the history of the world. They do. Yeah. The voice actor that does uh, Bear is actually, like, a super cheerful fella. I would hope it, so. Yeah. Like, what do you yeah, mean? Was they, uh, so, super, someone said Baloo. And ah, Baloo! Oh, Baloo, yeah. yes, and of course. Baloo. Baloo, the, um, there was another one. The Charmin Ultra Bear. Z yeah, the the one that they wiped their, they wiped their bee holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Less the, there's also, uh, yeah, I get you. There's also Ursa and Lone Druid. Ah, yeah, yes. Yeah. All of the Bear Strat. Oda, right? Oh, oh every, yeah. Every, strat. every single, every single member of the Bear Strat. You know, you got that going. Dude, for and it. Rob has to ruin it by bringing Dota in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bear. It's like when, whenever we were in the magic episodes and Rob brings up Dota, he gets like a slow yeah. nod from me and everyone's just like, yeah. <laughs> like, Teddy uh, Ruxpin. Is... Teddy Ruxpin I'm not familiar Ruxpin with. Did dumb. you say Teddy Ruxpin? I'm sorry. Sometimes oh, I just don't listen to you, Josh. Ursa <laughs> Ring. I wish everyone didn't scum me over all the damn time. I'm sorry, man. Ursa Ring. That's a good that's, that's a Pokemon. Ursa Ring? Like the, uh, like the Uber Ring? Oh, yeah. The, no, like, the, oh, no, that one. That's, that's like illegal now, I think. Is it? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, the Uber Ring, yeah, yeah. It's like it was like killing people. It was like making them what? impotent. Yeah. No. Well, yeah, impotence no. and murder is is kind of on like different uh, playing fields, I thought. But no, Wait, they're all dead now. All right. Yeah, everybody's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> no, it was it's like causing uh, causing like badges to explode or something. Oh God. Isn't that do what they offline. normally do, though? I, I mean, yeah. I mean, well, that's the main the main purpose of the Nuba Ring is to make the badges explode. But people signed up for something else, is what it was, you know. Oh, well, that's dumb. Why do you want the bad? I see no reason why you can't have badge explosions. Uh, oh, Fozzie bear. bear. I think we did Fozzie Bear. Yeah, yeah. Car bears? What's what are car bears? Gummy bears. Bears. Bears that run in cars. I mean, bears from Russia. Is that is that is that acceptable? There's a no. bear furniture store in Florida. Somebody tweeted that. Oh, which is pretty great. there's the bear the bear brand of paint. Oh yeah yeah. Oh yeah. There you go, yeah. That's probably the most famous bear. Yeah. If I had to, <laughs> if I had to guess. I, I, now I think sometimes sometimes there's there this this own kind of uh, chat timing. There's like a own kind of human uh, humor that exists only because of the 30 second delay. And like, I, we were talking about something completely different and all of a sudden I see in all caps, VAG EXPLOSION! <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's like, they couldn't be accomplished with that. Like, I wouldn't have laughed at that without the 30 second delay, so. It's oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Kuma from Tekken, I guess. I had him as my, uh, as my little avatar thing for a little while, but then I started getting worried about the fact that maybe Namco Bandai is gonna pull a fast one on me and... Oh, uh, yeah. Dark what about the, what yeah. about the guy with the with the jaguar on his head? Oh, jaguar, king. please. Armor yeah. king. Yeah, armored king. Yeah. Yo, armor what king. was the deal with that? Why were there two of them? Is there like some sort like well, lower? What's the armor king? The, yeah, there's the armor kang. Yeah. I, oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. he's the donkey kang. 
Yeah. No, I can't get <laughs> Surprised sure. there's not more bears in video games. I'm trying to think of some. Uh, uh Banjo Kazooie. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. angry with myself for not thinking of that. Angry mm -hmm. bears. Angry bears, yeah. <laughs> angry bears. <laughs> angry beavers. Flappy bear, show. right? Angry Beavers was a good show. I completely agree with that sentiment. Uh, they did a they did an episode of the Angry Beavers. I only remember this because I saw it on Reddit one day. When the show was canceled, they recorded an episode in which they were self aware of the fact that they were a cartoon show. Really? Yeah, and there's actually audio of it. You can probably find it on the internet somewhere. But it's super interesting. Like they're recording from the perspectives of their Beaver characters, but uh, Norbert and uh, what's his bucket. The other one Daggett. are... Yeah, Daggett, that's the one. I'm really glad you know that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I, they keep me around here for. Yep. <laughs> that was an excellent show. I got robbed for Steam sale prices, and I got Josh to remind me of the names of obscure Nickelodeon 90s cartoon characters. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Angry Beavers obscure? I thought it was a pretty, pretty I don't popular. think it was very popular. It only lasted yeah, for a couple I... seasons. It was popular, but it wasn't as popular as... Most. Yeah. I always liked the Angry Beavers. I don't know. I don't know. I always, I always thought they were funny. Hello, <laughs> them's all took. Oh yeah, I definitely like the show. It's just that a lot also, of people didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah. Like an another thing too is I want to. I want to be honest. This is totally blasphemy. I know. I know people are gonna be get real mad. And I, I, I like the I'm show. I'm already mad. Okay. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm already mad. I stuff. like the show. I am already I like furious. Show. Don't get me. Don't go. Don't get me confused here. I like the show. I just didn't think it was. It was funny all the time. Was uh was cat dog? Oh no, no one likes cat dog. <laughs> oh wow! Well. All right. <laughs> no seriously, if you like cat dog, I thought you were yeah. about to say like SpongeBob or something. I was like, get the oh, fuck out! I, I would have yeah, been yeah, actually yeah. like yeah. livid with you if you had said SpongeBob, and I'll be totally. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, I'm, I would never say SpongeBob. Come right. on now, but uh, but but cat dog, yeah, it's just, like the the song was great. The uh, the premise was amazing. They made a but terrible the execution yeah, though. Did they make a, did they make a movie out of Cat Dog? They did make a movie out of Cat Dog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't actually get to theaters or anything, but it was definitely on Nickelodeon for a, a while. They made a movie out of Rugrats, and that was actually pretty cool. They made like, a couple, I think. Yeah, yeah they made a few yeah. Rugrats movies. They made a bunch of the all grown up well, films, and that yeah, turned into a series say, on that, its own. That's something that they did eventually too, right? Is like they made them into like into like a high school yeah, like uh, yeah, they Disney did. Channel. Yeah. Drama. It wasn't a show. It was just, I think it was just an episode. Of the first one. All no, 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 no. They did a full well, like. No, 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 no. Yeah, they did do a show, but it originally aired uh, as just one episode when they grew up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are saying I love Cat Dog. <laughs> yeah, Dirk. Uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Fuck yeah, that that was the oh, Courage was the fantastic. Best. Yeah. My friend uh, used to know the creator of that show, and he is crazy. I'm glad. That makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, like super nuts. So, oh my God, that snail pit. Going to back and thinking about it. Going to back and thinking about it. Going to back and thinking about it. Back in my day. No, uh, Nick, Nickelodeon was pretty much dominated by SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents, and like Jimmy Neutron for a long time. I was, I was mostly like, okay with that too. Yeah, yeah they yeah. were great. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I, I was not the uh, biggest. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, the Jimmy Neutron. Well, definitely was the really weakest. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. It was definitely the weakest of them. It, it was just that you had to do the 3D, and the 3D was just. It always has been, and I think always will be. Even now, 3D on like a low budget cartoon show is just gonna be subpar. Like they have that uh, that Transformers show now uh -huh. that's, uh, that's that uses 3D, and I, I watched like a little bit of it, and it's like, yeah, that's still like the animation still looks shitty on that. Like, even now, even years later, years after Jimmy Neutron and shit, you know? Yeah, so, I, I, I agree completely. Yeah, it, just it was, yeah, I, I wasn't it's a fan. Just, it looks low budget. Never yeah. been it. I will of, say... Oh, sorry, no, go, go ahead. ahead. No, uh, dude, uh, I, I was just going to say the Transformers Beast Wars. Watch the shit out of that. That was, that was real cool. I watched, I watched Max Steel. I don't know if you remember Max Steel. Max Steel. Steel. Max me. Steel. I don't know. There was there, he had like nanobots inside of him or something like that. He got like dipped into acid vats. I have no idea. I, forget. I don't know if I remember ever hearing about that one. It, yeah. I, it it might have been a little bit weird, obscure. I forget what channel it was. But uh, in Max Steel, the first season and maybe like the first two seasons, or, like the first half of one season. I don't remember. The animation, everything was just garbage. Like straight up trash garbage. Mm -hmm. I hated it. Mm -hmm. But I remember after a while it kind of got like bearable to the ah. point where I kind of liked it. <laughs> bearable! Oh, ding, 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 ding,
uh, Electro Mac remembers Mac Steel, mm -hmm. so that's cool. There was someone in the chat mentioned one that I remember sort of was uh, Chalk Zone. I remember. Oh, that I show. do remember Chalk Zone. Yeah. Okay. It, like I, the. Actually, yeah, go on. Yeah. The every like problem in that show, like that they had to solve, ended up with him just running out of chalk. That was like the only way they could make things happen. Because if you you can literally draw anything at all, solve any situation. Yeah. Yeah, he has to run out of chalk like every time in order to have like a legitimate situation that needs to solve. You know, I wanted to mention Chalk Zone. I was gonna mention Chalk Zone as an example of something that didn't live up to the premise. Because I watched, I remember watching Chalk Zone. Like, you, you remember, you guys ever watched those old uh, things that were just like basically a Cartoon Network, uh, like a pitch show that had a bunch of different pitches, a bunch of pilots? Yeah. For a what, you ever a, watch what, that? A, what a cartoon. I think that they did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah cartoons. Like, yeah, cartoons. Yeah, exactly. And oh, yeah, cartoons. Yeah, yeah. Those, those two. Yeah. So, like, uh, so those, Chalk Zone was on that. And, um,. And I remember seeing it and being like, dude, that looks fucking sweet. Like, the premise is awesome. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then they ended up making the show, like, two years later. And admittedly, I suppose I was probably old enough where I wasn't that into cartoons anymore at the time when they when they finally made it. Uh, but it, uh, it was just, I don't know, it, was just, it just didn't live up to the premise at all. It, conversely, I remember seeing the Adventure Time pilot. Yep. And you can find that on YouTube. And I remember waiting for that show to actually finally come out for, like, uh, like all of high school, mm -hmm. it was it was that that and it's great. It has totally lived up to the premise. That was a, a I know the, what show I really miss. Flapjack. Oh Flapjack. yeah, Adventures of Flapjack. That was really good. I I really enjoyed the Misadventures of Flapjack. It was it was like a medium between like SpongeBob and Adventure Time, and it was brilliant. Oh yeah, yeah. and uh, Captain Awesome mentions Kablam. I remember watching Kablam, Kablam. a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That had a uh, that had like a chalk animation style to it. Actually, that was kind of cool. So I mean, someone mentioned this, and I, I think this goes without saying for most people. I assume that you guys are fans because I don't know how you couldn't be. But uh, but Samurai Jack. Oh God, oh, yes, yeah. fantastic show. It was just an incredible show all around. That's one of those shows that you can objectively say is good and anyone that says otherwise is just a communist. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just not even debatable. Samurai Jack was a fantastic program. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, like that was that was like legitimately good as just a piece of art in general. Like, mm -hmm. I, you could have done that without animation. Well, no, I think yeah, the point is with the animation. But I mean, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I think as an objective like TV show, that is a good show. Yeah, yeah. You know, not yeah. even like it's good for a cartoon. No, it's it's a good show. Definitely. So, did did yeah. you guys uh, watch Teen Titans at all? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it, but it had this huge, like, overarching storyline that never solved itself ever, at least when I was watching it, like, with the whole Terra character. Like, it just it never got solved. And they kept, like, bringing it back, and I was just... It, it, they just, like, never had a climax for it, unless it eventually happened. I stopped watching the show. Yeah. But, <laughs> god damn. Oh, Grim Adventures of Bill and Mandy. That was a good one, oh, too. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, mm -hmm. That was that was pretty good. You know, I, I, I never really got into it, but I appreciated it that it was good. Mm -hmm. I liked it. You know? Yeah, I never really like followed what was going on in the show, but it was funny when I, whenever I would tune into it. Ed, yeah. Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie, another yeah. good one. This is a good one. What, what's the oh cow and chicken? Were you were the, the that was a weird one. Yeah. That was actually <laughs> getting a weird. That, that was such yeah. a Rocco's Modern oh, Life uh, esque show. Actually, that was even oh. more like Ren and Stimpy, to be honest. The, uh, the yeah. cow and chicken. Yeah. Cow was and chicken, that the like... same people? I wonder. Mm, I feel no. like it might have been. No. There, I, there were a lot. Cow and Chicken, Ren and Stimpy—they all have the same animation style and the same humor. Yeah, so yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if well, maybe that was some I, similar. People I think were. that was that was in the era where where Hanna Barbera dominated all of animation. I mm -hmm. think, and I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure that was another Hanna Barbera. Thing. Was it? Okay. Probably. I mean, like the Hanna Barbera. Yeah, it's it's the Hanna Barbera cartoons. Is it not not that like it was Hanna Barbera? Like is a I was like yeah the, yeah, the Hanna Barbera up, you know? group right yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just the production. Yeah, but it, like, and they always like the Hanna Barbera cartoons also always had the same kind of animation style in general. Right. So. Oh, but, Invader uh, Zim, of course. Yeah, Invader Zim was terrific. Oh yeah, I mean that's you know. I like Foster Tom. Someone mentioned that one. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, F Foster Tom wasn't bad. The the, uh, the the character Blue was a good character. Yeah. I didn't really watch much of that show, but uh, <laughs> what. What were we gonna say? Oh, uh, uh, actually, you guys ever read Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, the guy who um... Maniac, 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 <laughs> Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. 
<laughs> and a gag. Yeah. Oh, how much? I'm not a gag. Mobster, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the um, is the comic written by the Invader Zim dude, and it's really good. Nice. It's very very. Nice. Oh, let them yeah. People are saying Dexter's Laboratory. That's that the first my, thing that comes to that mind. Awful yeah, Johnny Bravo. That's, that's uh, Jendi Tartakovsky, the creator of Samurai Jack and Powerpuff Girls and Dexter's Lab. How, he was like, how does one man become so great at cartoons? For real, fucking man. Resume, like, dude. Freaking 99 out of 100 ideas he has. Like, oh, hey, that's going to be a successful show lo running yeah. for 12 years on our rerun <laughs> station. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah so the, uh, Jendi Tartakovsky, he, you know, he went to uh, Cal Arts, and when I was out in California, I would go to Cal Arts parties, and the only reason I'm bringing this up is because there's a fun little ripple about Cal Arts that's perhaps different th different than other schools. In that um, clothing is optional at Cal Arts. Really? So, yeah, there's nude ladies walking around all the time. Now, of course, you also have to realize that there's, you know, nude dudes. Nude dudes. Gonna see, yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be dunks. So nude dudes have are dunks, my favorite but, because it rhymes. <laughs> right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nude lewd dudes. They're being lewd. Rude lewd dude. nude dudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they are. They we're a little bit rude. Yeah, yeah. There was a, there was a Halloween parade when I went to a Halloween party, and it was it was uh, it was a naked parade, just a bunch of people just being it's naked. Halloween parade. parade's a good song by Lou Reed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Somebody mentioned earlier they they were saying something like I didn't realize Bear's childhood was so similar to my own, and I think we're all pretty pretty close to the. You don't know same. '90s kids unless you know Jenny Turner <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Somebody also I, said they're rebooting Powerpuff Girls, which I'm surprised by. Oh, they already did. The, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not. It's not like rebooted. It's uh, they changed it to a, a Japanese anime. Okay. Oh. It's it's completely. It's already like I, I think I don't think it even aired in the states initially, and maybe it's coming to the states now. Oh, so it must be good then. If it, if it didn't come to America, it must be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Keeping it yeah. for themselves. That's what, that's what they do with all the good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Mother yeah. 3, never forget. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, so I'm not a fan of anime, personally. Yeah, I was just about to there's, say, we're starting to get into the, uh, mm -hmm. there, the... Exactly, and there's a few. Someone someone mentioned it. Uh, the one that I really, really adore is Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. It's an amazing show. Absolutely. 100%. I think... Well, show. Well, me, Rob, and Bear Tap, I don't know about Josh, we've all recently seen Attack on Titan, right? Yep, I actually just oh, yeah. started watching it. I haven't. Is that the one mm -hmm. that's all, like, weird... Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that one. <laughs> you, you could have asked that about like literally any anime, and I would have responded. <laughs> yeah, to the same yeah that's true. That's true. <laughs> but I th oh. it's like it's like the new hottest thing that's going on in anime. Oh yeah, it's the it's the it's the big one. It's it's new hotness. It's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not like Naruto shit, is it? No, no. That, see, that's like, that's the thing about it. That that's why like that's why it actually got me through more than one or two episodes because it wasn't. All the the Naruto y like like I'm going to follow my heart and save the things like, yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. like I don't care about this. There there was like but, one moment of that in the early episodes that I can remember when he's trying there, to balance on like, the thing. There were a few Space Dandy. Yeah. Oh yes, Space uh, people have been telling me about Space Dandy. I haven't watched it yet, but I hear I, it's I, I thought, he's, I thought he was done after he did Samurai Champloo. Hmm. Uh no, no, apparently apparently this Space Dandy him. So a barely. A barely. People mentioned. Oh the, god! Uh, ding, 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 ding. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> people, people mentioned the show that I've never seen, but has like the best opening song in the history of time. Bo, mm -hmm. bo, 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 bo. I never heard of it. You never heard it? You got to go watch the theme. Well, yeah. you have the time. I, I can go watch it. I, the I think opening. Boy, Bebop has one of the best opening themes of yep. any yeah. show. But and bo, 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 is just. That's the name. Someone. Of it. Some someone someone link me this in the chat because I'm I need a link for the lazy. I'm used to Reddit friends. Crime it, yeah, I, I totally know what you mean. Like actually, a, a few people. I believe we were talking about this one of the other days on the stream, but it is kind of funny how America is you know just now getting into the Attack on Titan hype, and that's like oh so last year for everybody that's you know read the manga and all that stuff. But right. I I've never been big into reading. Uh, Manga, even so much so that I am not sure I'm, I'm pronouncing it correctly. Eh, yeah, yeah. People, people like to fight over whether it's manga or manga or manga. like what. Words. I'm, I, I'm gonna say it as an American because I don't speak Japanese. All right, that's how, that's how I deal with everything. Where it's just like, oh, you're not pronouncing that correctly. It's like, yeah, well, I'm also not speaking Japanese. Yeah, like I don't say I'm Roberto Riccitelli. You know, like I'm, I'm. Robert I wish Rizzo. you would, to be perfectly I honest with you. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I don't. I don't. 
So because I have done this already, then I have to stick with it. Otherwise it wouldn't be true. So anyway, yeah, go on. What were you saying about the manga and whatnot? Um, I don't remember Sucks. because now I can't imagine anything but you <laughs> saying, Roberto Riccatelli! <laughs> Roberto Riccatelli! I'm Italian. <laughs> I'm an Italian. Just, I, just, I, like, just, that that you can just, just, just to make sure you know, I am Italian. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you don't understand whatever I'm so confused about that language. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I introduce myself to somebody, I have to clarify. I'm like, hi there, my name's Alex, I'm American. And they're like, oh, okay, well, good oh, to know. Glad you, I almost thought you were Canadian for a second. That would have been awful. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be the worst. Uh, uh, you know, someone mentioned anyone remember Ro Robotech, and I will say that that show was a guilty pleasure for me because people, uh, some, I think my mom bought it for me for Christmas when I was really young. Just because it had giant robots in it, mm. and it has giant robots in it. That's like pretty much all that show is. That's that's all that is to that show. And yeah, that's, that's okay that's with okay. me, man. Giant robots. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, I will say, like, I, I don't want to spoil Robotech, but I kind of do because it is like the example of the reason why I usually really dislike anime. Uh, it, in the the ending of the first season of that show, I I want to I I want to spoil it, but I don't know. I don't think that's Probably a good, good idea. Don't spoil me. Yeah. But it, it is, it, it's a show from the like mid 80s. Like if you haven't seen Robotech, then <laughs> you probably, you're probably not going to see Robotech, you know? I'm going to see I, it. I, I don't care. It's just, there's a thousand people in chat. There might be that one guy who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I just landed on the, on the edge the of the last Robotech phone. episode right now. Before yeah, he's, it. he's <laughs> on right so close to watching it. He's like, no, yeah. Rob, don't spoil it! <laughs> no! Also, don't leave Josh out to dry, he'll spoil. I, that's not Delicious. wrong. Yeah. I do. I'm gonna spoil yeah. The Wild Thornberries was a show I didn't care much for. Um, Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> Smashing! <laughs> Smashing! I mean, he was the best part, but... Yeah, yeah. obviously, yeah, for sure, yeah. but... Yeah. Yeah, the show I, itself in itself isn't. Uh, the, it, hey, people are saying spoil it, but I don't know. I, I still I don't like spoilers in general. But I mean, if you've seen the end of that show of the first season, then you you should know what I'm talking about about the the way that they solve their problem. I I mean they I don't know if I should everything. say earmuffs. Should I say earmuffs? I guess you did say earmuffs. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Earmuffs? Okay. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. Anyone who doesn't want the end of Robotech uh, Season 1 spoiled for you. I think it's Season 1. Maybe it's Season... I, I don't know what I had. I had the DVD box set or something. But if you, if you don't the want... the video, it, go download the whole season <laughs> on Netflix, come back, and then you'll yeah. be good. Yeah. And then... So, okay. So here we go. And I'll say in the chat when I'm done with the spoilers. I guess I'll do it 30 seconds later. All right? So at the end... So the, the whole premise of the show is these giant aliens who are who are giant people, kind of like the Titans in Attack on Titan, are coming to the Earth to kill humanity, right? And uh, at the end, the way that they so so the entire se season, you're they're fighting off the, they're fighting off these giants with robots in space, and there's like jet planes, and they're shooting them up, and there's explosions everywhere. It's awesome. The way that they beat them in the end is they get a pretty girl to sing a song about love and the aliens learn about love and decide to not <laughs> kill humans and then they become allies with them. And it's like, that's okay, that's, that's like dumb as shit. That is pretty thing, stupid. And I fucking hate it. I hate yeah. everything. Like, uh, follow thought... your heart and we'll believe it. It's like, just, sh oh my God, I fucking hate you. You just, you, you br you've broken narrative. You have yep. destroyed narrative entirely. I was There's hoping you'd go for like a Mars Attacks ending there, or she sings a song and all the aliens' heads explode. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Uh, be I totally could have gotten a Kabbalah rocket power. Yeah, that was another. Uh, you can you can let that chat know you're done now. Yeah, there you go. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, Rocket Power was a good show. I like I liked Rocket Power. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to Courage and Kelly Dog for a second because I want to see if I'm not alone. Uh, that, that show was fantastic and it was great and I loved it, but. Like, one time out of ten, it would be horribly depressing. By oh, the God, episode. yeah, it would freak me the hell out more yeah. often than not. Like, I, like, not not just, like, on a horror level, but it would leave me emotionally disturbed afterwards. Yes, I good. I'm glad I'm not the only one, because that, like, that yeah, show that messed like, me up some days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was, like, really dark, especially for, like, our age group. Oh, yeah, there, like, it was targeted was one, at kids. There was one the episode was where Muriel and, uh, oh, what's the, what's the grandpa's name? 
Muriel and uh, no. uh, uh, Eustace. Start with an O. Eustace. Eustace. Oh yeah, Eustace. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, where they both get turned into puppets forever, and Courage is oh, using them yeah. as puppets, and the very last oh. making them do things. I'm like, are they dead? Yeah. <laughs> no. And there's like no resolution at the end. It's not like it's like, well, they weren't puppets after all. It's like, no, they're puppets now. Have fun, kids. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> go hope that your parents aren't immortalized into cloth forever. Speaking of things like that are for kids that I just find hilarious is like um, you you look at like Adventure Time is like that show is like for kids. It's marketed to children, right? Mm -hmm. But it, it is like it is totally not for kids at all. And I don't even mean in the se in like the Disney sense where there's like they lay in very subtle jokes that are that are like you know for adults so that they still have fun in the movie theater. I mean straight up in in, in the end of an episode of Adventure Time, they realize they try because they fight everyone all the time, they try to use like pacifism to solve their problems. And in the end, the moral of the story is they realize that they should just use violence as their solution to every problem. And that's the best way to do it. <laughs> it's just like, I find that hilarious that that is straight up the moral of the story in a children's show. Well, I think I like, a lot of like the morals in the show is just like, oh, we should have just had the candy in the first place. It's funny. Yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> we don't try to be good at all. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, yeah. Um, yeah. Aaron, thank you very much for the donation, buddy. Really appreciate that. This is for you. Yay! You rock. Get in, uh, get, go ahead and hop in the bear pile, Aaron. Why not? The bear pile. Jump in there, Aaron. Get in Just there. Get on Squeeze yourself there. in there. there. there There's room. Yep. Is that too much? Yeah, same with the regular show. Yeah, exactly. Well, regular show had Tyler, the creator, on it. Also, wasn't there the Tyler, the creator... Or like, wasn't there an Odd Future cartoon show that I that was supposed to come out, and I think it did, and I just never watched it? Anyone watch that? Uh, I don't know. Never, never really watch uh, the Odd Future. Mm, I'm remembering Kids Next Door now for some reason. Because mm. you were talking about that, like how they always learn that they should just solve their problems through violence, and that <laughs> show was inherently just like kids determining for themselves. We are adults now, and we are going to rule the world through the threat of terrorism. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you become an adult. You realize that you either yeah. become a terrorist. No, or... Bear, you are the terrorist. Oh, no. <laughs> you either become a terrorist or you live long enough to see yourself become a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't yeah. know what to do about it, so I just stopped talking and then Josh yeah, saved yeah, you, me. You should have you went through with it. You should have got all the way. Yeah, if you're gonna commit, you might as well go. I guess so, way, man. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Kids might as well door. just go right into the middle of the bear pile. Kids Next Door oh. got really weird at the end, uh, like of some other shows. Like it just like the episodes had the weirdest plots. Wasn't it like, like their older siblings showed up or something and they're like, "Hey, kids, you remember how Captain Awesome ninety four just subscribed?" <laughs> yeah. I don't remember that line of. Uh, that was the original. best that episode was of Kids Next yeah. Door. It was fantastic. Wow. Oh, Captain Awesome 94, concerned, jump the bear on. the episode of Kids Next Door. It's true that. <laughs> Captain Awesome, you have earned yourself a uh, a spot in the... Uh, oh God, I, I don't even know. Wow. Of, Get in of, there. I, I guess you gotta... There. You gotta just shimmy in just, and, and hope yeah, for the just, best. Just kind of squeeze in. It. It's it's really tight right now. It and, is. And hairy, and it's a little bit warm. But, I can uh, next to me, buddy. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's wonderful. Right, right where his butt is, so he's getting fart in your mouth. I've got, <laughs> I've got butt room for you. Yeah, there's you know, everyone around him. Josh has got butt room for everybody. This is the of my life. Mm. Butt room. Butt room for everybody just described. That's down. that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's that uh that's that horror movie with John Gusack, butt room for everyone. Plague of Tower showed you scum! That's a resubscription. Welcome back to the bear pile. It was yes. once the bear cave, it's changed up a bit. We've done some redecorating and uh throwing of bodies into a mass in the, uh, in the living room. By filling it with every it's a mass grave. <laughs> it is. Uh, thank you very much for that subscription. Appreciate I that, Katawa. I can't even imagine a bear rave. Good lord. Oh man, that would be <laughs> that would be like because we were talking about it earlier, do you guys do you guys remember that episode of uh, of Samurai Jack where he goes to the rave place and fights? I don't think so. Uh, I know the episode? the episode that you're talking about. I don't remember. No, what no. It happens. The first hold episode, on, he uh, he goes. I think to it's like called a... Jack at the Rave. Oh, he goes wow. to the club in the first episode and then like beats the shit out of some dudes. That's where the Fifty Cent song actually originated from. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Does anyone else remember this late gem, Scooby Doo? Scooby <laughs> Who? Kids will remember. I can do a uh, I can do a Scooby Doo laugh. Rock <laughs> roll. Holy! <laughs> oh, nice. That was like, really good. <laughs> I like how he had to pause for it to build up like whatever. Oh yeah, of course. That that are inside of him man. to make Scooby happen. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm gonna go the mo ship. Are you? Mo money, mo ship. Where are you gonna get up there? Uh. I don't, I don't feel comfortable asking, answering that, answering that question. I don't feel comfortable asking that question. God damn it! It's pretty gross. I want, I want to see like the full scene. They, they have the scene before he's fighting, but um, I don't know. It's, it, it's funny because Jack is dressed up in like straight up like super raid rave gear. Yeah, he has like a, he has a, a pacifier in. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. a pacifier in him as if he's taking a bunch of ecstasy. Yeah. Which is hilarious. Because it's like, it's like, that's the kind of thing that I watch now as an adult and like, oh, right, okay, so that's what that's for. Yeah. And when I watched it as a child, I was like, that's completely lost on me. Like, why is he wearing a, why does he have a fucking pacifier in his mouth? You're after. Yeah. Oh, God, I am just... a kid, Rob. I swore a lot when I was a child. Look I love you're issuing him that warning as though it's like something you can go back and like <laughs> create some redeeming your behavior for Rob as a child. Like, you know, kid alpaca patrol, you really should walk work on that potty mouth. Yeah, I think, I, I think for sure. Jesus yeah. Christ, Bear. <laughs> yeah, Bear, what are you doing? Fuck this, this mother ship. I'm not going to kill anything. I'm just going to dodge I was going to run around be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> just smacking things all up, up down and all around. There was there was an episode of Samurai Jack that confused me because like the whole thing with Samurai Jack was that he would always try to get to the portal or whatever, yes. and Aku would just be a bitch and like lift it up, He'd be like, "Ha, yeah, right. you're too small." And then there was one episode where he like met this like tribe of gorilla things in the jungle, and they taught him how to jump really high by putting a big boulder on his back and having him mm, like yeah, live with the that. boulder. Yeah. But, and then at the end of that episode, he finds Aku again, and Aku's like, aha, look at the gate up, you can't get it, and he jumps up to the gate, so he reaches it, and the episode just ends. I'm like, wait, is that, like, isn't this like the last episode? Right. <laughs> he made it to the gate, finally. Yeah. He just ended it there. It was, uh, uh, it's a show I of mystery and intrigue, man. I have no <laughs> idea uh, where it lays in the Samurai Jack saga. Um, <laughs> I know, well, I'm pretty sure it ended abruptly. I don't think there was an official ending to the series. No, yeah, it never ended. That's that's the that's the that's why we initially talked about Samurai Jack is because someone in the chat was like, Samurai Jack needs an ending. Yeah, yeah. like it, mm -hmm. it does because it's like. It, although that said, it, it, like the whole the concept of the show is that he was he's just a wandering samurai, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually. Did you guys know what it, what it's based on? Uh, uh, no. It's it it's on uh, it's based on Frank Miller's Ronin. Really. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's it, it, which is also is a really good comic, by the way, and I, I would suggest that you all watch it, uh, read it. Um, but um, anyway, so but the, the whole concept of the show is that he's you know is a wandering samurai or whatever. So like maybe he doesn't need to go home eventually, right? Like I, I don't think that if they uh, unless they ended it in like maybe a movie or something where there's a conclusion, conclusion, you know, I don't think they ever would have ended the show even if it ran for like 20 seasons. That said, it should totally have had fucking 20 seasons because that show was so good. Bear, you were giving me a heart attack. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> die. I can't wait for you to hit yourself. With oh, I totally just yeah. did, but oh, jeez. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, honestly, I kind of, I kind of prefer that style, and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, you need to have a conclusion, and. <laughs> I just I'm I don't, cool I, with like it, I think the the need for a conclusion uh, equals like I want just to watch more episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's exactly true for sure. Yeah, and that's how I am exactly now. It's mm -hmm. like yeah, I just want I, I don't know. I just I want them to bring just the whole show back. Just bring it back. I don't know why they ever canceled it. I, I guess know, it's I, like uh, it's like Firefly. They always cancel the best shows. Yeah. Well, it's just sometimes well, it's, it's about like the ratings too, like how much the the show is mm. giving to, or how much the network's giving to the show, and how successful the show is doing. It could be the best show in the world, but if no one's watching it. Obviously, they're gonna yeah. cancel. You know, you know what might also have been a factor is I'm I'm sure that that show was very expensive to make. Oh yeah, yeah. like I, I'm because like it, it, every scene is hand painted and whatnot too. So mm -hmm. like that that Death. must have. That must have 
Oh, well, sorry. Sorry, I, I, I'm addressing this. Death, I gotta be real with you, my friend. I don't know what chowder is, and I'm I'm sorry about uh, that. Say I a weird think... purple cat. And okay. Says, 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 I recognize wait, the name, I but I can't I can't picture it for some reason. It has it's a, it's a it has an interesting art style. I give it that, but like it's a it's not funny. At least I didn't find it funny. Yeah. Weird. Which show is this? Chowder. I know I've heard of it. Say a, uh, a fat purple cat. It's got a weird hat. Fat purple cat's <laughs> got a weird hat. It's Chowder. Yeah. <laughs> That's, oh, this is a newer show, I guess, or something. Chowder. All right, let me look this up. I love Firefly. Um, yeah. Don't get yeah. yeah. of people in chat have, have taken me the wrong way. Uh, Firefly is amazing. It's one of my favorite shows. Hello, JD Zombie Slayer. Fox didn't really kind of support it. They aired the episodes out of order, and I don't know. Oh my they god! They did with the it ending of an unsuccessful season. No one watched it, and they canceled it. There's some so really bullshit. like controversial opinions on Chatter in the chat right now. We got Chatter was okay, Chatter sucked, Chatter was terrible, Chatter was dumb, Chatter was epic in all caps. Chatter is pretty terrible. Let's call it epic then. Yeah. Chatter wasn't good. Chatter <laughs> was the shit. <laughs> I didn't care, Chatter. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, my Chatter, I don't give a damn. Yeah. It's uh, I'm looking at pictures right now, and then this strikes me as the cow and chicken. Uh, spectrum of things, you mm -hmm. know, where it's like, okay, it's, it's probably kind of funny. It's not like good. Grave of the Fireflies. Now I haven't seen that, but I've seen enough about it to know that it's really sad. What is Grave of the Fireflies? Yeah. It's Grave of the Fireflies. Grave of the Fireflies. Yeah, it's this anime. Uh, I don't uh, honestly um... know what it's even about, but I've heard about it being one of the saddest things you'll ever What's see in your a... life. Here's a fun question, based off that. What is the saddest moment in movie or TV that you guys have seen? Oh, like, dude, I'm not even going to let you guys answer because I know you're just going to agree with me and we're going to be able to end the, the conversation right here. Mm -hmm. The Iron Giant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah no. uh, it's I not know I've seen just seen not liking or caring about the Iron Giant. Yeah. Really? Wow. Really? Yeah. Huh. You should go back and watch it and cry. No, I, I did. Like a um, baby. And it wasn't, it, I granted, it wasn't like the whole movie, but I did see the end, and I was like, yeah, that's sad. It was sad, man. And see, then I was, I, I like, was too uh, young when I saw it, so I, I don't really remember it, because I saw it when I was young, and I, I don't remember the ending. He, he is uh, the guy who directed that, Brad Bird, <laughs> is one of my favorite directors, actually. Because um, he, he did that, he did uh, The Incredibles, he did. Uh, what else did Brad Bird do? He Josh, you're gonna sit there and tell me Rob's favorite director didn't make you cry as a kid? <laughs> yes, I am gonna tell you that. Yes. God damn it. No. Uh, I will say, um, my sadness, if we could add video games to the spectrum, I would say Mother okay. 3. Mm. Oh, 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 so in, oh, Ratatouille. He also made Ratatouille. That fucking, oh my god, they do it so early to you, too. They, they do it early, they do it late, it's just... They, that game is fucking depressing. Yeah, yeah it does get Shit. at you, it's true. It's the best way, I loved it. I loved it. I didn't even, I, see, I actually haven't played that game, I just watched someone do a full Let's Play, mm -hmm. and I was fucking, like, just tearing the fuck <laughs> up the entire time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. never actually played... In that game, it is. It, you got to get the fan translation of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it, uh, it is definitely worth, so worth it. it. It is worth it. Pretty tough to get a hold of, but it's <laughs> pretty ridiculous. The chat is like, you will. Don't bring these feels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you will cry. Your we went from shit like up. going nostalgia all over them with these beautiful '90s cartoons into, say, guys, what just what, destroys you inside? Recent memory to you. <laughs> there were uh, there were two that new two moments that I remember. Uh, one of them was uh, Marley and Me. I didn't watch oh, it. God. I I've been keeping myself from watching Marley and Me Don't because watch so that movie. I am never gonna watch it, man. Like I'll tell you, dude. Like one thing. I, I don't, like, cry in movies a lot, but one thing that just, like, freaking, like, wrecks me to the point where I'm bawling like a 12-year-old that just had his dog die. Like, that's, well, I guess I just kind of ruined the analysis <laughs> of it, but that's, that's really what it is. Like, my, my dog dying has been, like, probably the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with as a human being. And don't watch that movie. When I, when I don't see even stuff go like that, it. like, even if it's just, like, a story online, or just, like, a news story about, like, this heroic dog that died saving kids or something, like, I just... 
I used to get it wrecked by that crap, man. Like, yeah, I see, I, I guess I was my first pet died way after I saw Marley and me, and I, when I saw Marley and me, I, I for like a whole like week, I was just destroyed. So yeah. I was just like, it was so sad. And I, it's not even like it, it's not a tragic death. It's just the, the whole movie is a story of this dog, the, his whole life. So mm -hmm. of course he's gonna die in the end. But it's just the way they portray it is just like fucking. They milk the shit out of you. All right. Yeah. Can I? There, yeah. Can I be the lone? Oh god. Yeah, sorry, go on. Sorry, but... No, 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 no you. No, you. No, I, I, oh, I'm, you I'm, guys. I'm a rant. I'm, I'm a, my rant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you can tell that Rob's about to prepare for some, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, someone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so you can you can say whatever it is that you wanted to say. Uh, all right, so people in chat were saying uh, for like for the dogs and everything, the Jurassic Bark episode of uh, Futurama. Oh yeah, see that oh. that's exactly what I'm but talking about. Like I can't watch that, that got me. It was it was a little luck of the friarish that got me. Which one was that? Oh yeah, with his brother. It's his brother episode because that, that one was. I didn't have like a, a, a family dog like my whole life, and the dogs that we did have they weren't that good, and we ended up. Um, like <laughs> saying to, to humane society or trying to give them to someone else. Yeah. Um, but the luck of the fryish episode that had this deal with brother and I have brother, and just a lot of feels from that episode. Yeah, that was sure. a that was a feely one. That was a kind of a oh my bear. That was kind of a happy sound. Yeah. yeah, for sure. That was yeah. I like that episode. Mm. I oh like my God. Um, <laughs> real, real quick, I want to say the other one for Rob Rants because this might take a while. Um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna just keep putting off the raw brand as long no, as we're that's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, we're already off the Marley and Me subject. Building, so it's right. no, time it's, uh, is gonna be in the end. <laughs> not necessarily like, the greatest movie ever, but not not necessarily the saddest movie. Actually, it's a pretty sad movie. Uh, Click with Adam Sandler. The oh yeah, yeah. stop mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah. The <laughs> ending of that movie. Oh my god, that one hit me hard. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Did, see, okay. Okay, hold on. No, wait. Sorry, I have to interrupt this because this is very important to me. Dogger Jesus, I love Shadow of the Colossus as well. Do not tell people to go watch the ending to Shadow of the Colossus. For the love of God, do not just go watch the ending of the game if you haven't played the game. Go play the game. Jesus Christ, please do not just go watch the ending to that game on its own. Okay, thank you. Continue. That's like, that's like reading the last page of a book. God, yeah, don't do that. Read the book. Um... Well, so anyway, the, like the the same is with Click and, and uh, with fucking Marley and me, that that shit is like it's straight up, it's the definition of a tearjerker, right? Like that's the idea behind it is is the whole point of that movie is they even they even tell you like in the beginning of the fucking movie like it's like 20 minutes in that the dog starts dying, and it's like it's and it's like uh, I don't know it it just it, when I was watching it, I. I mean, I think I, I think I watched the whole thing too, despite my reservations and knowing exactly how it was gonna go. And it was just like, I don't know, man. It's I I don't like, like I understand if you want to make a, a person feel something, but when you make an entire movie based around the premise of like, I'm just gonna make people cry because it's gonna be a dog dying and it's gonna be a pretty dog and it's gonna it's gonna die. And it's just like I don't know. It's just I don't know, it's just boring to me. Like, not the, really. Like it, it goes. It goes. It's like, like 10, 20 minutes in, the dog's fucking dying. He has cancer what? or some dog no, cancer. No, it's the very, it's like the very, cancer. very end of the movie. He dies. Well, he, maybe he dies at the end of the movie. Yeah, but he, he, like he, uh, he's like dying, like twenty minutes in. No, it's, it's not till the very end. I don't think. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't. I, I, the shack I don't probably watch burned. much of. So yeah, I, 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 I think it's just the it's just the whole story, the dog, and then the dog just gets sick and old at the end. Like the, I don't think there's anything special. Yeah, yeah I uh, think it, maybe it's just like for people that have dogs and then have well, the have, think, and that have had that kind of same because when you have a dog like that, you build a relationship with it, uh, yeah. and you kind of want to tell that story. And like it's just I, like, it why just, is this dog so damn awesome? And uh, yeah, you know, maybe it's not meant it's, to be like it, it, it's going to be a tear jerker. Go in the chat. It's just when they do that, it feels exploitative to me. Is all it is. Like it just feels very exploitative to just. It's like a motion porn, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know? I can, I can, like, I can understand that perspective on it for sure. But yeah. at the same time, it's, I, I, I am respect. I respect it when the the people that are trying to tell the story, it, it's it's like an expression of their own, you know, how how to, how they dealt with the situation in the first place. And that's a, that's like I'm not I'm not assuming here that the creators of Marley and Me like had a beautiful dog that died or something like that. I'm just saying like it 
in in general, when you're referring to something that uh, can be referred to as emotion porn, you usually come to find the case being that the person that created that had to deal with something similar, and it's just their kind of their coping mechanisms, saying like, okay, so I'm going to just kind of do my best to show people how this feels and and what it's like to deal with something like this. Yeah, and I think, yeah, uh, people like I think feeling that way too. Book. So like, sure, it's it's like a you're sad and everything, but people like feeling that emotion. Yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. when it's like a happy set. Like, but I think both the movies, it's it's a happy set because it's like the dog had a great life and it was fun and awesome. And yeah. uh, it was it was partially also that I think the movie was improperly marketed in that it wasn't marketed as like, hey, feel sad about this dog dying. Like it was marketed as like a plucky movie about That's a true. dog. That's and, true. And, it was the, the entire yeah. first and second part of the movie was. I, I must remember this movie completely different because I remember the dog being like near death like halfway through. I, so I here's, here's, I, the, I, here's the perspective I was looking for, yeah, so uh, I'm going to butcher your name, sorry, but Faroer's Courage. Faroer's Courage. Faroer's Courage. Thing from Zelda, yeah. Oh, okay, mm. cool. Well, anyway, yeah. as a writer, I can definitely say that regardless of what you write, you definitely put a little bit of yourself into the book, into whatever you're creating, and that's... Yeah, that's just kind of the general point. Like, they, it's it's yeah, not it's not true. a bunch of guy. It's not a bunch of old white dudes in a room thinking like, oh man, how can we exploit sadness in America today? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's oh, it, like it's no, not necessarily. No. I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying that I don't necessarily say that I would hold up Marley and Me as like the pinnacle of uh, of you know. Uh, uh, emotional expansion of a person's life as a writer or something like it it it, it falls let's just say it falls closer to the spectrum of uh like sharknado to me than it does titanic or something you know what i mean you know, you know what i'm getting those are uh, polar opposites <laughs> yeah wait i'm saying i'm just saying the i'm just saying titanic. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the new film yeah, that's that's damn that's, that's the scale of i've ever seen one. i don't know if i can sit here and be like i get what you're saying about that man you're totally on the ball with that comparison <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that, like, like, it, like the two. I think Sharknado is it, like exploitation in the way of like the genre. I mean, of exploitation kind of films. You know, it's like it's it's basically which you know more commonly today people refer to as like Grindhouse type of thing, mm -hmm. right? So Sharknado falls into that category. I mean, Sharknado was a spoof, essentially. On like action films, like it was meant to be goofy. The Sharknado think... was designed to be ridiculous. Yeah, I, mean, I, I actually watched Sharknado, but like, oh. were... <laughs> dude, <laughs> like, uh, I know I wanted, I, I wanted to watch it. I just never got around to watching it. I didn't know, I, I don't know if it was like parody or not, or like it was. Uh, yeah, like, it's, I thought it's it was straight up parody. Yeah, there's oh, there's okay. nothing that takes itself seriously at all. Ah, uh, okay. I, I assume that it was just like a really bad movie with a really bad premise and stuff. No. Sharknado is so it's sad. It's a purposefully terrible movie, and that's why it's great. Mm hmm Unlike yes. the, uh, the freaking summer romps that are coming out once a month now, it seems, the, uh, like the epic movie stuff. Yeah, yeah, those are garbage. Yeah. I really sad I just that that to, uh, has caught on again. I wanted to real quick go back and just mention this because I wanted to look it up, but uh, Marley and Me was actually an autobiography, a book written by about a real dog. Well, there written you go. By the dog. Oh, written by wow. the dog, yeah. <laughs> 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 written by the dog. <laughs> <laughs> first person perspective. That's awesome. Wow. Uh, yeah, Bear doesn't watch films. That's that's clearly been addressed. So I, I'm sorry, Chad. I am, I'm trying to... We've, we've got quite a bit of heated discussion going on at the moment. Somebody asked me what the uh, what show I've seen that got to me the most. Uh, I haven't watched many television shows either, but um, I'm trying to think. That Futurama episode, I am going to agree with the fact that that was that was a that was a tug around the heartstrings. Oh God, that was that was really stupid. I don't know. You guys, you guys go for it a while. Have you seen like television shows, television sh series that really? Really got television into you. not as much, I don't think. Television, like, I don't know. Sadness in TV doesn't seem to, at least for me, I've never, I've never really seen any scenes that are particularly sad. I just um, managed to uh, crush the idol head with the uh, with the mechanism for the trap, so that was pretty impressive. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I, I think I was. Yeah. I, I think I was maybe near T 
tears on an episode of Breaking Bad, perhaps? I'm trying to think. There there have been shows where I was just like, like, just kind of tearing up. It's like, oh, man, that is <laughs> fucked. I think it was on Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh! Oh, no, what happened? Oh, God, what? Oh, oh Bear, no, you, Bear's doing Is Bear things. doing something awful? Oh, Jesus. Bear does all the awful do. What did you oh, do? Oh, it's the flop. It was definitely the flop, wasn't it? No, no. Oh, no! No! <laughs> No! Oh, that's so ridiculous. Man. Oh, that's butts. Oh. Oh, <laughs> like that one bear. Well, uh, we're adding, we're ending on a pretty sad note here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, Let's actually, make a movie about TV. this guy and call it Red Turban and Me. Dude, <laughs> Fresh Prince of Blair, Fresh Prince of Blair when Will's dad comes back. That was oh, that, that that is that was hard yeah. Hard. Dude, yeah, you don't even need to like see the full episode of that. You just watch that little bit just on watch YouTube. That scene. It's pretty yeah, cool. that was fucked up. Especially if you have daddy issues. <laughs> like this is like that, that'll that'll get you. Phrase it like that, man. It really takes it out of the focus no, 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 of the drama of the situation. Daddy Especially issues. if y'all got daddy issues, man. <laughs> yeah, well, ain't good time. As as a person with daddy issues, <laughs> you know, it's, it's worse. It's way worse. Yeah. So you know. All right. Well, hey, uh, this is uh, this is the end of the BTLS, guys. Thanks for coming out. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, go follow twitch.tv slash alpaca patrol, twitch.tv slash jsmith oti, twitch.tv slash Last underscore gray underscore wolf. A bunch of du good dudes. Also the YouTube versions of those things. And uh, unfortunately, I will not be back for Saturday's show. And I wish I had like something like uh, this, but sad. Yay! And I would play that right now to be like, oh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a bad thing. I'm going out of town, so no show Saturday. I will see you guys back here for the uh, the midday Monday stream, and then we'll be back with the Bear Taffy live show on Tuesday. Oh, I do got to do the bets. That's true. So I guess that was a bomb that killed me. Wouldn't you yeah, say so? Yeah, that was a bomb. Yep. Yep, that was a bomb. Someone's yeah. getting paid if they All bet right. that. Also, yeah. Bear, when you come back, you're doing a blindfold run. I think I might have to. Uh, they, that is yeah, the uh, that, yeah. that is the truth. Tim LMDS, uh, recent subscriber to the channel. Tim L Tell MDS. Uh, that was today, actually. He just won 8,000 oh, bucks. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming out to the Bear Taffy Live Show. Say goodbye to these guys. Bye! Play y'all some chip tunes, some ads on the way out. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time. Oh, uh, actually, it's going to be Monday. So, yeah, I'll see you, uh, see you Monday. And enjoy your weekend, everybody. Ta!